I want to talk to you about the topic of advanced directives. Advanced medical directives tell your doctor and family what kind of medical care you want in the future when you can't tell them yourself. This usually happens when you're in a coma, seriously injured, terminally ill, or have severe dementia. Advanced directives usually tell the doctor or other healthcare practitioners that are taking care of you what you don't want done, that you don't want certain medical treatment, if you have an illness that you can't recover from. Now they can also tell the doctors the type of medical treatment you do want regardless of your health. The type of treatments that you can direct the doctors not to give include no ventilation because you can't breathe on your own, no tube feeding because you can't eat on your own, no cardiopulmonary resuscitation when your heart stops, and you can also direct the medical providers to only give you palliative care. That is called comfort care, giving you pain medicine so that since you've decided not to get medical treatment and allow yourself to pass, you will do so without pain. You will do this in comfort and in peace. Now advanced directives can come in different forms. One is a living will. It's a legal document that tells medical providers the medical care you want or don't want when you're terminally ill or in a coma or under severe state of dementia. Another legal document is called the Durable Power of Attorney. This document identifies a person who you have chosen who's going to make medical decisions for you. And it becomes active at any time you become unconscious or unable to make medical decisions. Creating your advanced directive now, when you're able to, assures that you will be allowed to have the appropriate medical treatment based on your desire when you are no longer able to tell those around you what you want or don't want as far as medical care.